Now, my Alicia being pretty OP should kill that Samath. As long as she doesn't get stunned, she should be able to come back and one-shot the entire team here as long as she doesn't get stunned. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. And we're back with the series top arena defenses and why they work. I have been doing this series for a really, 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 really long time. But I haven't done one in a while, so I want to bring it back for you guys today since I've been posting a lot of videos lately about new player content, how to do like Giants B10 and stuff like that. So I wanted to bring it back with some more high-end level play. Alright, so in this series, if you haven't seen it before, if you're new to the channel, uh, what I do is I attack some of the best arena defenses in the global server. I go pull up their account, show you guys the runes that they're using, and kind of explain to you guys why their defense works, okay? So, as far as pulling up the ranks here, uh, there's a couple people on the list. The first one is i.envolution, and he is on my list right here. And I wanted to do this arena defense for you guys. There's a couple things that will make this work, and I'll show you guys here what's gonna happen in a second. Uh, what's gonna happen though is I'll fight it a couple different times with a couple different types of uh, arena offenses since I do have quite a few. I have a cleave offense that you see here with Alicia, Zeros, Galleon, and Tiana. I have a bombed arena offense. Did I say defense last time? Arena offense. So I have the bomb arena offense with Sierra, Bastet, Tiana, and Malaka. I also have the Leo Lucian and Frigate Lucian, Speed Lucian comp. So I'm going to start off with the Speed Lucian comp against the Samath, Perna, Ganymede, and uh, and Feng Yan. Now, the whole point to arena offense is that you don't want to rely on bruisering things. What I mean by bruisering things is you don't want to rely on having a slow clearing offense. You want to get in, clear as many monsters as you can, get out, win the fight, so that way you can continue on to the next fight without having your arena defense hit too many times during rush hour, and that's how you go up in ranks during rush hour at the end when it counts, okay? So again, we're gonna start off with the Lucian, Speed Lucian team. If this works, again, I'm gonna go ahead, quit out, so that way I can continue fighting the same defense over and over. Uh, but the reason why my arena offense is pretty good is because my Frigate boosts up the attack bar by 50%. Uh, my Bastet comes in with a another attack bar boost. And then, so he doesn't have Will on his Samath, which leaves it open to my Samath to reset its skills for my Lucian. He does, however, have Will on his Perna, so I can't reset the Perna, unfortunately. And, of course, it's not gonna really affect the Ganymede. So he could potentially even, he could potentially even reset the Samath if he cuts in between my, uh, my Samath and my Lucian. All right, so I like to do this just to check which monsters I reset. Looks like I did get the Ganymede, but I missed the Samath. So having resistance on Samath in this situation is really, really key because if I'm trying to reset it, now he has a chance to come back do his AOE damage and uh, potentially really make my fight much harder than it has to be. All right, so he has a lot of HP on all of his monsters. I was hoping that I could one-shot both his Fangyan and his Ganymede, but he did reset his Samath uh, passive, so unfortunately I won't be able to kill the Samath, he'll actually come back and do a full AoE once again. We're gonna try to land on that Fang Yan. Still didn't kill it. I got one shot by the Perna, reset by the Ganymede, and GG, okay, I lost, I lost. So we'll talk a little bit about why that worked when we go over the runes and stuff, but we're gonna fight it again with a different type of combination. Uh, I'm gonna use bombs, okay, bombs, most likely aren't going to be the best choice against this type of defense. I'll show you guys my best choice against this defense probably next, okay? Because there's really there's really a couple main ones. There's Lucians, there's Bombs, and there's Cleaves. There's c different variations of all of those, but these are the best options, okay? Or these aren't necessarily even the best options. These are just one of the options. All right, so Tiana removes all those will runes that we had problems with previously. And then uh, Bastet comes in with another attack bar boost to boost up the uh, attack power as well. And that leaves it open for my bombs. However, I did miss it on Perna. 
We're gonna go ahead and detonate, and we still didn't kill him with the bombs, okay? So my bombs did a, almost the same exact damage as my Lucian did. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this down. And then hopefully we can kill some people here. The Ganymede might even reset. Okay, I was gonna say the Ganymede might reset the Perna. But I think we're okay here. I'm gonna actually drop the bomb on the Fang Yan. And this one, there's, uh, yeah, there's not really much he can do to win. So we'll just call this one a win and move on. But there's a couple different things that could have gone wrong. He could have cut in between with his Ganymede, reset one of his uh, monsters again, his Perna, his uh, Samath, things like that. Having the Ganymede with the two uh, passes that come back to life is kind of scary. Okay, and like I said, we'll talk about it. Of course, we're farming ourselves down, but I don't care. This is for the purpose of the video. And it's like Thursday, Friday, so it doesn't matter too much right now. I can always farm back up. But my first choice against this defense would probably be to bring a cleave arena offense. However, the things that could go wrong are that A, the Perna procs a bunch of times and kills my Tiana. Even if that happens though, I have my Galleon to remove all the will runes and, uh, or sorry, <laughs> remove all the defense that he has. And then I have Xeros to reset, and of course, Alicia, if Xeros happens to uh, get stunned or killed by the Samath, okay? This one is probably the most safe. Now, I say that now, and there's a couple things that can go wrong. They could always go wrong, and, uh, or, or right for the defense, I should say. All right, so the, other thing that could have happened, the other thing that could have happened that almost did happen was, say the Ganymede would have removed the will off of my Galleon and then violent proct and then got the seal magic on my Galleon. That could have been even more horrible. And then also the Perna did almost kill my Tiana with two hits there. If he would have violent proct one more time, which is very possible, happens all the time, for Perna could have easily killed me. Would it really have made too much of a difference? I don't think that would have. I think Tiana's more just there as a punching bag in this situation, and I could have gone with the tankier wind monster just to take some of the hits from the Perna because I know the defense now. I know how much will it has. I know how much speed it has according to my previous attacks against it. All right, so this will be the last one, though. Let's go ahead and use Fiery Breath. I'm going to pause it just to see how poor my accuracy works, and... Perna's back to life. I missed the <laughs> the reset on Samath as well. Uh, but it looks like I hit the other two wind monsters. So thankfully, that's the case. Now, my Alicia, being pretty OP, should kill that Samath. As long as she doesn't get stunned, she should be able to come back and one-shot the entire team here as long as she doesn't get stunned. As long as she doesn't get stunned. Uh, okay. Well, she got stunned. All right. So that's that's the last of it, though. But like I said, there's a couple things that could have gone wrong. I missed both of my hits on my uh, on my Xeros, unfortunately. So to show you guys the runes on my monsters, we'll just go through them real quick. I'll show you the stats and the sets. That's about it. I have the Rage with Will runes here. I also have the Xeros with Violent Will. And his accuracy is 57%. I really value accuracy, but unfortunately I missed both of them. So I'm curious to see how much resistance he has on both of those monsters there. I uh, used Shield Shield Will on this T Tiana. I have another Tiana that I use for my bomb uh, team that I'll show you guys here in a little bit as well. There's the Galleon. Here's my Sierra bomb team. I focus more on her HP since I use her a lot in RTA. Here's the Bastet. Slower, but on will, so that way I can fight into Leo's if need be. Uh, Tiana, a little bit faster on this one. Both are runes, attack her damage, attack. And then I have my Malaka with a lot more attack power. Uh, plus 2,266. And then the accuracy, because sometimes I use the accuracy leader for Malaka. That gives 50% accuracy. And most of the time he doesn't really miss bombs too often. And then lastly, to show you guys my Lucians, uh, there's the Smath Despair Nemesis. I have my Frigate, which is only plus 189 speed, but pretty tanky at plus 18,000 HP. 
Bastet same monster that you saw previously. And then here's my Fat Lucian. I run it with plus 44 speed to avoid as much as possible from getting cut, but I try to keep it as fat as possible. Much crit rate, much attack power. Uh, it's on Fatal, and I'm lacking a little bit in the crit damage side. That's why I only do about like nine to 10,000 damage per hit. Um, but overall, those are my runes, guys. And let me bring you to the, uh, the defense to check it out and go over the runes. All right, so we're on his island now. And so the first monster that I used in his defense was Samath, 100% resist. Okay, I completely understand now. All right, 100% resist. He does, does not use will. He use, actually has Endure runes on his Samath, which I think is actually pretty smart. But there you go, that's the reason why he resisted my Zeros. Very, very smart choice. Uh, he actually favors more resistance than even accuracy because he uses it on arena defense. It's kind of like a, a baited Samath, if you will. Uh, the second monster was a Perna, 90% crit rate, 210% crit damage. That's why he was doing so much damage. And damn, this is a really sick Perna, Violent Will, okay? Speed, crit damage, attack. Holy, look at this rune, 28% crit damage. Oh my god, this is... I think this is one of the best Pernas I've ever seen. Easily, easily one of the best Pernas I've ever seen. This rivals like above and Cabzin's Pernas. That's, that's insane guys. Holy crap, okay. Now we have a Ganymede that's Violent Nemesis. It's plus 147 speed, which is no joke at all. Plus you get the 33% uh, speed leader from the Samath. And, okay, 24k additional HP. That's why my Lucian was barely not killing it. Because my Lucian only does about, like I said, 9 to 10,000 damage. Plus you had a little fluff damage from some math. But, that's a good way to show you guys how much HP you should be shooting for, for different parts of Arena. So if you're using an Arena defense monster in... Guardian 3, you would probably want at least 35,000 plus HP. 35,000 would be the minimum because there's other guys in Guardian 3 that have Lucians that hit much harder than mine. So keep that in mind. If you're in like Fighter 3 or Conqueror 3, try to figure out what the average damage for Lucians would be in that particular area of Arena and build it a little bit tankier than that to see yourself progress more in Arena. Uh, and be able to take out more Lucians because if they died that first round, if they died against that Lucian, it would have been game over. All right, and then the last one he had in there was Feng Yan, and this is 55% accuracy, 40%. I'm uh, sorry, 55% resistance, 40% accuracy, plus 112 speed. Again, there's that HP again, super high, with the defense at 1463, ruined Violent Will as well, speed. HP, defense, extremely, extremely well rune monsters all across the board. All of their runes are completely 100% maxed, plus 15. You're not going to see a monster in arena defense that doesn't have max runes at the G3 level. So if you guys are shooting for G3, if you guys are shooting for Guardian, that's where you should be shooting for on your runes as well. Okay, look at every single monster, every single rune is also grinded out as well okay all all the skills are going to be maxed 100 percent there's like no exceptions okay not a single exception all right and then we'll go one last one. Oh, he doesn't have a skill okay well there's one there but it's damage okay all he needs really is to get that accuracy for a skill one and i'm sure he'll throw another double one in there once he gets it but other than that, guys, that's it for today's video. If you do want to see more of these top arena defenses and why they work videos, go ahead and leave a comment below, like this video, and also subscribe because subscribing does a couple things for you. It puts you into a drawing uh, to win a tablet at the end of the month. Also, you have to comment on the video below as well. And then uh, aside from that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace. Congratulations to last month's tablet winner, Sean Harris. If you want to win a tablet for yourself, all you have to do is comment on this video and subscribe to the channel, and a new winner will be drawn every month. The more videos you comment on, the higher chance you'll have to win.
Also, I've been putting together the world's first mobile gaming convention called MOGA Expo, and it's being held at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California on August 11 and 12. The event will feature tournaments for the hottest mobile games out there, and it's absolutely free to attend as long as you pre-register for your ticket. Although the event is filling up super fast and space is limited, so be sure to do it as soon as possible because you'll also be entered in for a chance to win one of 30 iPad minis MOGA will be giving away just for registering.